When you have someone else's life resting in the palm of your hands and you can just end it with a click of a finger, that is when I think you understand how important life itself is. I'm 17 years old and I'm a survivor of the attacks. I've lost all contact with my family and friends and I've been surviving off of whatever I happen to find in this desolate town. I journey through the harrowing jaws of death hid from the shadowy pain. Watch skeletal lives fade away and cowed in fear when I could have made a change. Yet here I am, standing in front of another man pointing a gun to his head. One who was on the other side of it all. One who was a gatekeeper to the door of hell with all those innocent lives entered. One who lingered in the shadows, waiting to attack its prey. With all the lives that this man has ended, I cannot simply return the favour by ending his. I do not know him. He does not know me, and yet I have an infuriating hatred towards this helpless figure. A deep gash runs across the left side of his face. A crumpled photo is placed in his upper left pocket, which I imagine to be of his family, whilst he wears a chain with a type of totem on. This man seems a pretty rounded character, although the right side of his collar is bloodstained. I wonder whose that is. For all I know, it could be my next door neighbours, previous school teachers, or someone I passed on the street one day. After all, he was only following orders. He may not have had a choice. What would he have done if he was in my boots? He's killed many before, so what would stop him from killing me? I wonder what his family is like. I wonder what his interests are. I wonder what he did for a living before all of this. I wonder if he was happy. I wonder what he's thinking right now. When you have someone else's life resting in the palm of your hands, then you can just end it with the click of a finger. And that's what I did.